Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I believe this is part five. Frank, when you were rickrolling us, someone sent you dessert. Do you happen to remember that? Yes, I remember Kerwood always sending me things. Was I rickrolling you guys? I don't even know what that means. Um, We are going to load our game, because again, sometimes we're ahead of the autosave. What's the last thing that happened? Do you guys remember? Is it louder now? Can you hear it now? Yeah. Two. Oh, that's not even where I want to be, actually. Let's load from here, yeah. Okay. And we are back, my dudes. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Okay, so we can probably tab and see what happened last, right? Look at all these weapons we got. Holy shit. Okay. Um. What was the last thing we did? We bought the card. We bought the nav key. And I think we're on that planet now. Help the broker deal with MSI and the Iconoclast. The broker can't deliver the location of the chemicals until you stop the Iconoclasts and MSI transmissions that are interfering with the use of the tower. So let's do that. Um, Celia sent you to Velma Ballard, manager of Stella's Bay Warehouse. She receives all of Sublight's incoming shipments. Oh, that's for his little toss ball poster? Yes, and uh, what's her name? Wanted you to do something while we are on this one. Uh, she wanted to talk to Sebastian. She's like, hey, ask that dude out for me. Now that the Manta Queen is dead, check with Berth Berthold in the natural caverns near Devil's Peak. Okay, we can do all these things. I'd like to talk to a manager, please. What do you want to do, man? Straight to the moon. You're actually useless. We you should be doing main quests and com companion quests, if that's it. I'm over encumbered, goddammit. Sell to a Vendi. Is there one near here? Maybe. I doubt it. No, I don't think so. Oh, we talked to this guy last, didn't we? Ooh, what's this? What's a flamethrower? Glad we checked this out. Purple berry lunch? It's gonna weigh you down, man. Purple berry lunch gonna weigh you down. Do you have any ill effects right now? Ill effects? Yeah. What does that even mean? Like, are we fractured or something? That's why we're over encumbered? No, we probably just picked up too much shit, Michael. Stop picking things up, man. We gotta get stuff off. I'm already over encumbered. What's the worst that's gonna happen? I become over over encumbered. Yeah, but then you just have to drop more stuff. I'll just sell more stuff. To whom? My dad. Oh yeah, where's he at? I don't know, where's your dad at? <laughs> Got him. Also, us not looking hey, through Maybe here. we should have got that fast travel perk because you're so bad at inventory management. You're so bad at being a piece of shit. Ever think about that? Actually, I'm really good at it. Oh, he's right. Self got him. <laughs> Michael B. Why do you get to have this Frank, like honest? Can you make salt tuna salad in this game? Probably. But do you really want to? The vermin. Why do you just keep circling this room, man? Because I'm still picking things up, man. There's still stuff in here, Michael. God, you're such, you're such a hoarder. I'm getting ammo and shit. Where is I the... feel like there was a vendor nearby, wasn't I there? I also felt that. That's what I was thinking, too. I feel like one of these rooms had one. Yeah, I thought so too. 
How about you drop some stuff, then you go look for the vendor, then you pick it back up? No. Well, I tried, everybody. What do we got? What's our 110 out of 100? That ain't bad. Look at all these rooms. I feel like we didn't go in any of these things. Well, everybody, I tried. Stun Baton Ultra, huh? Okay. God, we have so much ammo and it feels so good. You could also check a map. That's a good idea, actually. We should check a map for a vendor. Does it say vendor on maps? I don't know. I actually don't know that. I would think so. Would you? Vendor, look right there. On the map. So there is a symbol for vendor. Check the other floors. That's vending a vending machine. machine. That's that, that counts. That's I on think first we can't floor. sell for that. So we need to go floor down. Yeah. I don't know where that is. Well, we can look at our map. This way, I would imagine. Oh, over here. Is this going up or down, though? How can I tell? Ooh, that's tricky. I think that's where we came from. I think so, too. So I'm going to take a left and go towards this door. Frank, did you get the money for the nav key? Yes, I'm asking for a friend. Yes, I did. We also just purchased the nav key, so. Well, this goes outside. How do I go down? I think there's an elevator. Do what you about there? Yeah, I see, where you're, I see where you're thinking. God, I just don't care about these things at all. I'm so slow. This is so nailed. Brutal. It. Selfie. She looks high F. What? She looks high F. She does. You're right. There we go. Okay, let's see what we're gonna sell. Uh, wow, 276 seems like a lot. Compare it to our weapon. Yeah, it seems way better. This is like a. That's worth 288. This is worth 72, though. So? That's always weird. Oh, we're using a vermin right now. Okay, so we don't need these vermins. Is this not better? It's literally not. <laughs> it's literally like 100 damage less. Um, flamethrower, which you hated. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Sentry Saber MK2. MK Ultra. Dead Eye Assault Rifle, which we have. 191, 198. Switch that. Our vermin is at 82. Switch with 100 vermin. Tactical shotgun is good. Do we need anything else here? Assault Rifle? Dead Eye Assault Rifle. Nope, 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 nope. I feel like the shotgun is poo poo. Really? Yeah. No, I, I disagree. I. I, I, I disagree. I, I agree to disagree. All of this is shit, right? Yeah, we can sell it all. Except for one science equipment. Okay, do armor. What? Nothing. Oh, okay. It's hot trash. Okay, weapons. I'll hold on to that. I'm always holding on to things. Right, because we have different for you have different sources of energy. Like we have this is an energy weapon, the other one's a bullet weapon. So if we run out of light ammo, it'd be nice to be able to switch to a powerful energy weapon. Which is that powerful though? This is the gun we were like, you have a really good pistol. So yeah, you dumb shit.
Please sell that, thank you. Wow. Sell junk, hold Z. We are at 13, five. okay, sure. Bunch of mods, bunch of junk. My friend really wants to know how you get money for the napkin. You do jobs. Oh, you were literally asking for a friend. That's hilarious. Um, yeah, they give you a bunch of jobs to do it. Look, look how fast we can go now. You can even sprint if you want. Amazing. Wow. Look at this guy. He's seen better days. Oh, faux windows. Adds beauty and vers verisimilitude to your frontier home. Not to be confused with your pioneer home, though. That's a different format. Did they, like, did they come back? No, that's a good one. Oh, yeah. Outer Worlds bits, Terminator 100, Terminator 100, bonus 20. Man, Dan's, you are awesome. I definitely know who, who wears the pants in that relationship. Who wears the, the pants off, Dan's off, as they say. What does that mean? Nobody, Nobody knows. knows. Yeah. It's really up in the air. Nobody knows. Alright, so where do we have to go? Let's look at our map arena. Nobody knows. Why? There was that other thing we could do that was near us. Hmm. I don't remember what it was, though. Well, this is where we have to go. One of them. But wasn't there like that she wanted to stop by somewhere? Oh, she said to do that before the... Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's a companion <laughs> quest, so we can look at our companion quests. She wanted to, like, bury your friends. We might have botched that one. No. No, okay. It's under companions. That's what I'm looking for, man. Oh, you just missed it. This is it? Right? Yeah. Oh, it's on Monarch, so we have to go to a different planet. Are we sure this isn't Monarch? Um. Why don't you go to your map? Yeah, you might be right. See, I was thinking, like, I'm looking at these, and I'm like, oh, they have the same background, so they're probably on the same planet. And I'm like, if this is a different background, it's probably on a different planet. That's what I was thinking. Like, each planet had a different background. Yeah, see. Okay, so it's over there. Alright, let's go do that then. Let's go bury her friends. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Is this the way I want to go? Yes, with a veer to the left. I could probably avoid these guys. Did you see somebody speed around this game in like 30 minutes? 30 minutes? Yeah. I don't understand it either. They must use glitchies. Oh, that guy's dead. Come on, load it up. Really? I shot that dude in the neck. I thought that was Hunter for a second. You're Think on, I'm on fire. fire. Yep, there you go. You're probably suck on the juice. Suck on the juice. <laughs> Is that how you talk to your mom, Michael? Yes. Inappropriate.
Can I just go straight? Yeah, it looks like I can. Jesus. This is bad. The fuck are these worm things? Oh, I'm like in a corner over here, huh? That's the last of them, so. I could see this game giving you a bad end in like 30 minutes. Maybe. Stop being so on fire, I think. That's a good strategy. Rats. I'd love to watch a speedrun, but I wouldn't want to get spoiled, so. Use your snipper. No, I'm tired of it. You're tired of it? What does um, that even mean? It means I want a different gun, Michael. Here we go. I'm here for an experience, Michael. That's a big boy. No, it's not. It's really not. I'm just on acid fire, I guess. Acid fire. It'll burn your throat. It will burn your throat. Let's go to Hayes' grave. Why would you bury him in this raptodon field? Buried near the surface of Hayes' grave is a small lockbox. Its hinges rusted through and its wood almost completely rotted. It nearly falls apart in your hands, but it's... But in it, you manage to find a tarnished silver medallion bearing the letters Charon. We're done. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're going to lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. God, I thought we just had. I thought we. I thought we were done. Hold on, tell me about this UDL contract. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks, and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. What are we talking a week? You didn't try and find them. I should have. I. I really should have. But. Soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I I stopped trying. Because it hurt like hell to do so. For what's worth, I'm glad you're trying to confront it. Booze makes for better friends anyway. That's a concerning amount of baggage to carry around. Jesus. <laughs> what a jerk. Thanks. I'll go with the nice answer. Still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Now come on, Jesus. let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. <laughs> That's messed up. Did you hear what Level she said about you? Up. Level up. Uh -huh. All right, Michael. Uh -huh. Actually, I got Hiram and Vicar Max confused. So, all right, what are we, what are we, what are we adding here? I don't know. I feel like we should devote to some skill so we can get it ultra high. Handguns. Um, Long guns. Maybe. I was thinking more talky stuff. Because we're good at that. Oh, alright. Done. Okay, so where are we going now? Ask Hiram for help. Okay. 
map it up. Is the other one closer? Kind, I, kind of? Uh, not really. Well, this is the station, and he's in the station, right? So, might as well fast, fast walk to there. Get inspiration to 60 ASAP, or maybe determination, the one that doubles your companion skill bonuses. Interesting. Go on, Wallaville. I'm listening. Tell me more. Like, does he own a car? You know what that's from? It's a song. But do you know what the song is from? What the song is from? Yeah. An album, Frank. What? You really don't know where that's from? It's from an album. I just said it. It's from fucking Greece, dude. It's the dude. strangest thing. I don't know anything about Greece, you boomer. Incoming off world <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's fucking amazing, dude. Got him. Don't get snippy with me. Even if it's the response I don't want to use, I still want to use it because I want to get that yeah, skill. Yeah. Architect, have mercy. I should have known you were a shark. Phineas only works with the most ruthless and resourceful of captains. Wait, wait, don't hurt me. That was an intended compliment, I swear. Here, take this. If it will incentivize you to work faster. Wow. Neoka needs a favor. Oh, great. I love doing pro bono work for friends. Aw, you called us friends. I'd normally entertain your self-aggrandizing delusions, but this time it's important. Important to you is not the same as important to me. Although I do recognize that you may have earned some goodwill during your months laboring for me. Wow, this guy's a real fucking kind soul. Oh yeah, Persuade 35, she's your friend and she's in need. You're the only one who can help. Intimidate, I've had it with your selfishness, help her or there'll be consequences. Lie, she's trying to track down a lucrative contract. Would you give it, would, we could give you a cut. This one's like, not even an option. I like one. Just be honest with them. I mean, this is honest too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we just did that though. How many times are we going to intimidate him, you know? I don't know, he's kind of a dick, man. Alright, it's whatever. Whoa, hey, there is zero need for violence in this station. Look, I'll do what I can, all right? Say, look, he's coming around. Rebecca Hodges and Anders Wattsworth. They took a UDL contract. Persuade. Oh, Dan, if I saw that, I would have done it. I would have persuaded for you. I believe them to be on Terra, too. If UDL hired two hunters back then, it would have been for creature clearing purposes around one of their spacer's choice outposts. These are the coordinates for the outpost under the last UDL contract. Now scram. And, uh... Scram. Good luck. I'd like to secure some information. I may have a secret for you. For the right exchange. Ooh, 6,000 XP. Ask me what you will. When I played with Elk Tears, you tried to shoot everybody. Yeah, that does not surprise me at all, actually. You do the same thing. <laughs> yeah, but like... Yeah, but I saved it first so I can reload, so it's, it's okay. Oh. I don't want to commit to the shooting. I just want to experience it. I don't want to commit to the murder. I just want to experience it. Spoken like a true maniac. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what I just want to watch the world burn, Michael. Me and Mike are pacifists. Yeah, I try to I try to play these games neutrally. They are a curious lot, insufferable, and short-sighted too. What else do you wish to know? I could use some dirt on Sanjar Nandi. Sanjar is not actually at fault for his past performance reviews, but he can keep hunting for loopholes to get back on the board for the next century. He'll never be reinstated. Not in his lifetime. For Nebula's sake, even with the loophole I For gave, all your strength. He's only in charge of MSI because every other exec died during the massacre at Amber Heights. Hmm. What do you mean? Interesting. Very interesting. I gave Sanjar and Graham legal information that would allow MSI to own Terra One once the other corporations had abandoned the planet. The execs had their concerns, but before the matter could be resolved, pirates raided their homes in the night. I'm curious about Graham Bryant's deep dark secrets. Who's Graham Bryant again? Some say Graham suffers from nightmares that leave him sweat drenched and screaming. Michael has those. I would assume it stems from the friends you know and family he lost in Amber Heights all those I years ago. I watched you sleep. <laughs> 
Service? So hear me out. You I think you should shoot MSI this guy. Wow. And myself, I bet neither of those megalomaniacs told you I was the true mastermind behind Monarch. Back when the colony was still Terra One and corporations were abandoning us left and right, I'm the one who approached Sanjar and Graham with the means to our salvation. I offered them a legal way to take control of the planet. If MSI were the only corporation here, they could claim sole ownership. So MSI would have to stay behind with the other corp when the other while the other corporations left. So you're the glue that brought them together, and there was nothing in it for you, huh? Precisely. The other corporations were fleeing because of the hazard clause declaring Terra One uninhabitable. But MSI had lagged behind, giving Sanjar and Graham an opportunity: take over MSI, stay here while the other corps left, take over the planet. Even then, I plied my trade as an information broker, albeit in a smaller capacity. Of course, I demanded an exchange for the data. Thus, the bargain was struck. They could run MSI while I would operate Devil's Peak Station. Unfortunately, relations have soured over time. Why did the partnership fall apart? Competing ideologies. Graham believes Sanjar has become corrupted by the corporate lifestyle. That he is now similar to the original corporate executives they sought to reform. And Sanjar has learned the hard way that Graham is quite morally gray. Okay. Luckily for you, I am a veritable font of information. Buddy, I know. How low you seemingly regard my trade. <laughs> Nioka, pick me up some stimu lotion and a bottle of purple berry wine when you're next in Stellar Bay. No. And he did. This is like nothing to him. Wow, that did a lot. This seems to be the way to go with that. Robots. Okay, but for real. Stimu lotion. I'm gonna start keeping track of how much time we waste doing that. I'm curious, did you guys route the energy to the greenhouse deserters or to Edgewater in the beginning? To Edgewater. The reason being that they made a compelling argument. They just said like, if we route it to the deserters, then everyone else dies. But if we route it to Edgewater, like we can probably, you know, then everyone survives even if it's a little less happy. Plus we made it so the one lady went back to the town and saved everyone. So I yeah. think we did the right thing in the long run. And she became the leader, so. Can I fast travel while I'm in here? Do you know? I could fast travel in here. Nope. It already said no. I don't need your noises anymore. I like my noses. I like my noses. My noises. I like me noses. Hey, you. Mommy likes me noses. Locked. That's locked, you idiot. I'm so dumb. Why don't you follow the green, man? Follow the ganja. It's got me in so much trouble in my life, though. I like Mike's noses too. Wow. Dude, she definitely looks high all the time. Yeah, she looks. And the way she talks too. Yeah, sit in that chair. I wish I could, like Fallout. How come I can't sit in this chair? Yeah, I feel weird playing a game that's basically Fallout, but I don't get the third person. I much prefer third person. Do you really? Yeah. Do you guys know I, if you can switch to third person? I don't think you can. Wow, can't sit, unplayable. Dang. This game is trash. <laughs> now we can fast travel. And go back on the main quest. Follow the yellow brick road. Rebecca and Anders were hired to clear out an infestation of an expansion site for Edgewater. The Spacer's Choice abandoned Emerald Vale. Head there with Neoka and see if they're still available. I think this is a different planet, so. <sighs> yeah. Okay, so the main quest is this? Yeah.
Dan's, which one did you choose? I figured you'd let me know. Mike B, do you do the baby cry also? No, I can't do the baby cry. Do the baby cry. I kind of want this weird ass weapon you're holding, but you won't let me take it, so. Which way? Is M for map? Oh, that's much more convenient. I chose Edgewater at first and then went and talked to the old lady and felt really bad, so loaded an earlier save. <laughs> I fucking love it, dude. The game guilted you so much that you were like, I can't live with myself. I need to go do the other one. It does guilt you pretty bad. Sometimes these dudes are just living their life, man. This thing loads cool. Incoming. Oh, wow, you were right there. You did. What did Ian say we should do really quickly? I mean, as quick as we should. We are victorious. Waldo, what was the thing you said, dude? About uh, what skill was it? The inspiration. Watch it. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's there anymore. Well, you probably scroll up and then if you want. If in, yeah, but then I gotta like get out of the game. You gotta like alt tab or whatever. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which is kind of like a pain in the butt. Yeah, I got you. Do we have two markers? Yeah, one is for. One is for here. One is for the Stellar Bay. Oh, okay. Weird. I wonder why though. Perspiration? That's a joke. Oh, someone I was joking. like, wait a minute, that's sweating, isn't it? Yes, Michael. Hey, that's sweating, you can't fool me. The skill that doubles companion skill damage. I don't even know that's a thing. Well, now you know, Michael. Whenever they give you a shit ton of ammo on a way to a place, I'm always like... Mike B, Frank doesn't like slurping sounds, just FYI. What does that mean? You don't like that? No, it's because Nick would do it constantly. He'd go... Like every 10 seconds. I don't mind a slurping sound. I just. Nick, Nick has a thing where he does oh, the same sound and over and over and class. over. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know? <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. You're okay? Gosh, blast it. I was reading Mossy Beard's comment. You guys have a grapefruit? Your man, what does that even mean? Oh, you don't know about grapefruit? No, what is Oh, God. What is that? <laughs> There's this video on the internet of this girl, this, like, uh, very large lady, saying how she grew grapefruits her man, where she takes a grapefruit and, like, puts it on, like, you know, hauls it out and puts it on, you know, the, the, the member, and then... <laughs> and she makes this really gross sound. The member! <laughs> I gotta show you that to you. That's hilarious. Dude, there's too much citric acid in a in a grapefruit, man. That ain't okay. It's a hilarious video. Who are the iconoclasts? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. The sounds she makes are in incredible. Uh, no problems. What are raptidons or marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. I'm here to talk to someone about your broadcast. One big happy family. I'm just looking for work. Do you have any boss or a leader or something? Got to be handy with a steel. That's think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. Tell me about Zora. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. 
Oh, why are you here and not in Stellar Bay? Oh, Graham settled here a long time ago. Shoot, I wish I had a pamphlet to give you. It's all in there. I wasn't around back then, but they say a Thank lot of the you. old MSI corporate folks died here. He calls it a spiritual metaphor, something about rising from the ashes. Super Fritz, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, my dude. Graham's place is in the large building. One year back. of good times. Sora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. I'm going to blow all you up. I was going to do it again, but then you would get mad, so. It's just wasting my motherfucking time. Damn philosophists. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Where did she scavengers, go? I tell you. Where, where is she? Here she is. Oh, wow. She was really chatty for someone who wasn't even like... That's old Bradford. Ain't seen you before. You from one of the outer steads or what? Look at your weird owl glasses. Where'd your nose go? Outer stead, yeah, way off to the south. You poor some bitch. I hear tell the dust storms get even worse out there. Welcome to the heart of iconoclast country, brother. These guys seem cool. Graham's in charge, right? In charge? Huh. <laughs> We're iconoclasts. Every soul a sovereign power. We do for each other on account of it needing to be done. Not because some fancy pants manager said to. Now you want to rephrase that question. Maybe ask who's respected hereabouts. I can give you a sense. Wow, this guy's answer. got an attitude. I'll bite. Who's respected hereabouts? Oh, man. Our perception is shit. We'll make an iconoclast out of you yet. Out here, you ain't beholden to managers nor wages. The two names every iconoclast esteems would be Mr. Graham and Ms. Zora. They ain't leaders, and don't you insult them by calling them such. They're leaders. They're more man, like everyone's grandparents. They've been around, they know shit. You got a problem? Best bet's to ask them. What makes Graham and Zora such a big deal? When the monarchists wanted to settle down and play nice with the board, Graham was the one that took a stand. He's the reason we're here, breathing free air. Zora's our best sawbones. Nearly every soul here owes her their life. She's got funny ways, but they work. These guys don't seem so bad, right? Zora saved nearly everyone's life? Do you, do you get in that much trouble? Welcome to Monarch. The animals think you're tasty, the fungus thinks your lungs are a great place to plant spores. If that ain't enough, look at the sky. Olympus yanks this moon about like a drunk dancer. Storms to curl your hair and quakes to rattle your brain pan. Stay around. I knew he was gonna do it. got wrecked i did get wrecked those guys are tough dude universal studio studious what's a universal studious 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 dan's you are awesome mm -hmm. i was gonna do it again but then i was like you're not gonna be gonna get mad Villa TX, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out. Mike B, that's been on. Look at this iconoclast agitator. Look at her little cigarette. I'm gonna shoot that cigarette out of her hand. You think I can do it? No. <laughs> no. All right, so. St st studio. Isn't there something right behind you? Yeah. Don't steal stuff. Or do you? A manta queen. Yeah. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. I gotta take we a universal sure. dutyist. Wow. I'm sure they're... <laughs> ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Don't do it. 
You got a problem? Just talk to him, God. Oh my God. <laughs> you see me quick save and you're like, okay, he's going to do it. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. I'm told you're out of pamphlets. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I've found the written word to be quite effective in helping people do that. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Now, why have you come? Now, why are you gay? Huh? I was quoting that, that weird video with the African guy that's like, Why are you gay? You are gay. You don't know that one? I don't think I know that one either, man. Huh. God, man, you're behind on the memes. I want to know where else you're teaching. I think I'm just going to be like, Hiram needs to stop losing Devil's Peak. Stop? No. Spreading the truth is the only way to combat the board's poisonous campaign of propaganda against their people. Where'd Pavardi go? She's still on the chip. The chip? chip. <laughs> She's on our chippy chip chip. Our cheddar cheese chocolate chip. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Do you like that one? Why did I say chip? I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> she's still on our chip. It was so confident. Do you think she's in love with the engineer lady? She oh, sure seems oh like for it. sure. She swooned hard. Your broadcasts aren't working. Nobody's listening. I realize the board has blockaded our efforts, but... Devil's Peak is an interplanetary radio tower. Surely somebody is listening. Surely. I kind of want to be on their quite side. I'm assured in the idea that any who hear your message will not immediately change stations upon realizing what utter rubbish it is. Ooh, aggro. That is aggro. You're only transmitting on a single radio frequency and very few people can receive it. Yeah, science. Ooh. Yeah, bitch, science. Graham, we should be focusing on survival anyway. Food, ammo, and medicine. Maybe now is the time to pivot. Pivot. Huh? Pivot. If radio isn't working, we might try another way. Well, wow, I just referenced Breaking Bad and Friends. The timing is more in two than just lines. Serendipitous. It must be fate. What was the chip reference? I've had my sights on an old print. That was just me fucking up. Time. The board uses magazines and advertisements to subtly focus the colony's attention. We will use their tricks against them. Wait, that's not what I meant. Help me clear out and repair the press, and I will have no need for that rust bucket of a radio tower. Yeah, all right, I'll help you out. That's too much work. I'll just kill you now and be done with it. Jeez, <laughs> that's aggressive. I like how you can just do that. Attack! Hold on. You want to say you you saying you want to print po propaganda in their magazines? Citizens of Halcyon are glued to their periodicals. Dude, these guys they are my people. Over toss ball and fashion, and the board uses these obsessions to control them. Even I find myself occasionally wow. distracted Guys, I by found the Frank Space shameful vehicle. quality of editing and <laughs> unacceptable disregard for grammatical structure. My literary prowess will hook them, and the eternal truth will reel it's them. A <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like one of Sanjar's fishermen. You're starting to sound like a bitter writer. Oh man, that's so. I'm having. I'm gonna have. I have to say this one. Okay. I may have worked in the presses once, but the bitterness of being slave to their abhorrent rules has long since vanished. All right, almost vanished. Can you believe they don't put a comma after the final item in a series? Oxford comma represent! <laughs> that does it. I'll help. That's the most you answer I've ever seen. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement roles That's amazing. some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which... Where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait. Where is Huxley? Wait a minute. It seems we're out a runner. Where is if Huxley? If you our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. 
A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the <laughs> he's road. on the ship. <laughs> I hate you. Wonderful. I hate you so much. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but. If there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Man, they hate each other. Here we fucking go. <laughs> oh my god, dude, it's it's such a waste of time. You know you're gonna get owned. Oh, that guy's gonna die, but... Man, your health bar is really depleting. They got good guns. Oh, those guys are, yeah, those guys are no joke. We are not anywhere. I really miss 3D Doritos. I don't think I've ever had 3D Doritos. You meditate today? If not, you get a whiff of that sweet sulfur air. I was going to bonk him. But you really hate it, so. This just in why the series has gone 40 episodes longer because Frank won't stop killing people. Why is that just in? I don't know. Hey, aren't 3D Doritos just nacho cheese bugles? Are loyal folk. Pretty much. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. All right, we're getting out of here, right? Vicar doesn't like other religions very much. I don't think he likes anything that much. I no could if I tried. No, we haven't been there yet. You could travel to that one place. It was a little closer. We're here? <laughs> no, over there. Here? Yeah, because at least you should have a road. I guess it's... Yeah, you might as well walk. Now, yeah. going around here doesn't seem easy. It's going straight up. Straight up. Little Susie, straight up. Look that was bullshit. Come on. Frank plays exactly like Elf Tears, and I play like Mike, lol. Look at this, look at this hooligan. Why are you getting closer to him? Oh, he exploded. Frank would commit to killing people, we'd be done in no time. Wow. Done here. Every day is chicken Sunday. Sunday, chicken Sunday. It's two different songs you can sing to Chicken Sunday. And there's many more where that came from, guys. Oh, by the way, it's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chicken Wednesday, my dudes. So they there, combine the memes. The day was the day that I combined the memes. Was that your Michael Caine? Michael Caine. It wasn't, but it was. Why do we combine the memes, Master Beast? So we can save more time on Chicken Wednesday. <laughs> Chicken Wednesday. Okay, so we want to go... Income. Nice hit! Thank you. Look at all those horses. Might as well let them kill them and get extra XP, right? Um, where are we going? Yeah, we have like 300 bullets. Jeez, we're never going to run out of It's like 400. How do we get around there? She was only 15? <laughs> what is that from? I don't know if I get that. Uh, do we have to be up there? How about you uh, turn around, turn around, turn around. Go forward. Forward, you see. And then take a left. Oh, mooch. 
Okay, you just gave up. You're like, look, Cliff, there's no possible way. Chicken Sunday is hard, man. What is the vault? Uh, this is like a mix between if you took Fallout and Borderlands and they had a baby, I think you get this game. Because it looks like Borderlands, but it plays like Fallout. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That That's sounds like my some... nice way of telling you to saw it off. That sounds like some bullshit to me, my dude. What's going on here? We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet someone here. That's what. What's wrong with the generator? Why are you out here fixing a generator in the middle of nowhere? What do you think? I'm supposed to meet someone here. That's what. Right. Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. As soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. What? Why are you after her? You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? Skill. Oh, yeah! I'm here to investigate reports of man mantis worm infestation. Of a mantis, mantis, mantis swarm infestation. You're here for Carlotta, I get it. I'll offer, you get paid, we all go home with a win. Would 2400 bits do the trick? I think it's Mantis Swarm. Sure. Oh, of all the void damned. I ain't getting eaten alive for a couple of bits. Pack it up, crew. Got him. I can still kill him, Michael. That's the one guy I wouldn't mind you killing, actually. Oh, yes. Because, like, who cares? Oh, he was not ready for that. Fight, Captain. Don't mess with us. Every time. I'm fine with it. Captain, you're wounded. You gonna die. Buddy, I ain't even close to death. You're pretty close to death, actually. That's the last of them. That's like you got double experience because you got the experience for talking to him, then you got the experience for killing him. I don't feel bad about killing any of these dudes. I don't think they were good guys. No, they said thugs. Dan's, what is this link you're sending? <laughs> what is this from? My name is Michael K. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Let's go see what this guy had. Like thug thugs or Fox News thugs? Probably. Somewhere in between. Yeah, there you go. They are evicted, Frank. You can't go in. Well, I wasn't evicted, so why can't I go in? I heard that. I heard all of that. Who's out there? Whoever you are, you're in a lot of trouble. Hello? Relax. The sublight squad is gone. Do you have the moment to talk about our salvation through the order of scientific inquiry? <laughs> wow. A lot of dead folk out here. I'm guessing there was a tragic accident. <laughs> Eh, might as well lie. Yeah, right. Okay. I am absolutely not opening this door. Good way to go, Who Michael. Are you anyway? My dad. I was gonna say that. On board, Graham sent me to collect supplies. Awesome. Finally. Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar has declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. Here, Frank, I made this. Hold on, we gotta check out this meme. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I love that I just became a Kerbopulous Michael meme. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. I killed them. You heard the Rail guns. Rollers and what's it, right? The only thing I'm not liking Your about this game... Printing press? 
Yeah. Is that there's Take very it. little voice actors, like so said, a lot of the NPCs are like the same one. person. They sound the same. Like this is totally the engineer lady. Who cares? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> why did you? Why did Sandra ban you from working with the iconoclast? You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Why are you even helping Graham? It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure. But I respect the iconoclasts for doing Here that. I go kill him again. I'm sad that Kermompulous Michael got killed. It, he was such a cool character for that one episode. He really was. Where will they get their supplies now? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Everyone's hair is real cool in this game, though. Graham's looking for some high capacity data cartridges or a source of food medicine. Let's go with the high capacity because we got an extra. High capacity it option. is. Option. We got an optional yeah, quest. Yeah, I've got a few. I'll send them along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Joke's on you. I'm gonna kill you too. <laughs> And Michael's yeah, like, Jesus, murder please everybody. don't. I'm such a murderer. Buddy, I've only killed bad people, alright? Don't do that yet. First collect everything in here. Dang it. We're never good at the lockpicking. I feel like we put a decent amount of points into that. I don't feel like we put anything into that. Boom. Be boom, boom. Adam bomb, Michael. Ooh, a plasma thing. Oh, hold up. Hold up. We 21. Dang it. Does it look cooler? Yeah, I'd it say does. so. Dang. What is the what's the difference? Uh, it's worth 15, it's worth 19. Inspiration plus 3, hack plus 5. And it's just better. Oh, this is what we had on 13. Yeah, this I think it's 21. been damaged pretty badly, though. I mean, this is still 21. So let's support that, then. I think that looks better, too. How much was this when it's perfect, I wonder? I think it was like 20-something. Oh, your armor parts are 67. 26 versus... Yeah, well, might as well wear this again. Yeah, the only difference is this is heavy armor, so you're a little slower, but it's probably still worth it. Is that why you're a little slower? Because you're heavy armor? No, that's because of my brain. <laughs> Check your weapons first. Maybe we should buy stuff. Like, we don't be seeming to find a lot of good gear. I'm saying, my dude. What? What? What the fuck? It does have a star by it, I guess. But Jesus, that's pretty good. What is the, no, the star just means it's, uh... What does the star mean, guys? I thought that many was unique. No, because it's up here. Oh, you're right. So it's just a kind of damage, I guess. It might be like a burst thing, because these all have stars, too, and then, like, the vermin was a really common gun. Wow, that's got to be better than this, right? Yeah, I mean... Sure says so. No, keep you, keep I you. I still think we hold on to the sniper just because it's the long-range stuff, but... It's just the damage type, yeah. Good DPS, but they're inaccurate. Well. Okay. Let's sell first. That's only 380? That seems really good for 36, right? Yeah. What armors we got here? That's the good one. So when you just buy, yeah. Sell that thing. Keep, keep, keep. Oh, 
didn't have any good armor. I didn't even look. No, not really. No, the only armor they had was no, uh, these three, and they're not very good. 22, 22 9, nine. 9. Oh, okay. No weapons. Okay. Twenty six versus thirty six. Looks a little cooler too. Don't get that DPS when you miss a third of your shots. I don't think we're gonna miss a third of our shots. This seems excessive. We'll try it out and see what happens. It seems not hard to not miss. Did anyone answer if there's a way to get a... Uh... A third person view instead of a first person view? What? Oh yeah, I don't think there's a way to do that. What is that here? What is this green thing under us? Oh, it's just a vending machine. Okay. So we can head back to Amber Heights. No third person, interesting. A vicar, huh? You a true believer, or do you just like the tithes? Why, that's borderline offensive, Ms. Ramnarim Wentworth. Of course I believe. The tithes are merely a well-earned bonus. I met another believer once. Pushy type. He thought he'd been left behind for a reason. Thought he'd find some kind of cosmic truth in the wilderness. Got himself infected by a mantis and drowned in a sulfur pool. Some truth. Can't get more brutally true than survival of the fittest. But don't mistake us all for blind fools. Intellect plays a large part in who stays among the living. Glad to hear it. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. We're gonna have to take care of the Van Noys, Bullshit, I guess. Graham. <laughs> they don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur-sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. I got your rollers and shed those cartridges after all. Oh, I can ask about the Van Noys. Damn it. I was hoping you'd have more sense than our venerable leader here. I get the message is important. Experience, bro. So eating. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Uh, she isn't. Sanjara's decided to uh, stop sale on goods to the Iconoclasts. I've got bad news. Sanjara's made it illegal to sell to you guys. I don't know what you did to piss them off, but Sanjara isn't selling anymore. Two or three. That oh, I picked one. Most unfortunate. Huh. Why two or three instead? Only two supply lines did you let Monarch? them know about it? Sanjara, old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... We will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Time to fix up the print press, then? The print... Oh, no. Graham, you didn't. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham! Oh, we God. needed them in the ruins! Our people died out there! They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the sense in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must mm. have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle job. the duties for which we recruit them. I'm Graham, and I love paper. <laughs> <laughs> you could have sent them after back in Zorov, right? Do you ever stop bickering? Which one? What do you think? Spreading the word has to be priority number one. Otherwise, how can this movement grow? I like to. Yeah, me too. Yes, you're damn right he could have. But he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. 
With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. The printing press comes first. <laughs> Goodbye. I'll do everything I can. Are you ready? Are you ready, Michael? We're gonna go get the Van Noys. Okay. It's gonna be Van Noys. Australian for beer. Your mother was Australian for beer. She traveled from here, I think. So. Can you get out of the way? Hey, Max. What does your religion say happens to us after we die? The body returns to the universe from whence it came. I'm sure you've seen a corpse in the various stages of decay. Why do we exist in the first place, then? What the hell's the point? Our lives contribute to the betterment of the human race. Everyone has a part to play for the greater advancement. I ain't got a part. Life ain't a damn cereal. You helped people survive the monarch evacuation, did you? You not? can't even kill him if you wanted Perhaps to. Perhaps one of them will go on to unlock godhood for the human race. Well, if they do, I hope they remember who pulled them from the jaws of Raptodon. Oh, sweet Michael B. Oh, wow. That's far, dog. Do we just. I, do we have to. We probably have to cross this bridge, right? Yeah. All right, let's GTFO. Here I go killing again. Come on, feel the noise. Girls, rock your boys. That's good. Very, do very well done, Super Fritz. Okay, we're taking a sharp right. No, not in the water, we're not. Oh, wait. Okay, not there. Where are you going, man? Do I go in here and then go out the other door? No, go across that bridge in front of you. This one? Yes. And oh, then, it's this. Yeah. I was trying to go this way. Yeah, you're right. Come on, Michael B. If he lives know, in the trees. The Michael B. in the trees. The they are the best chance to maintain order in the colony. I suppose I can appreciate the structure of things. Long as the Going into the a random ha right house. <laughs> Dare to blow us up right here? Don't do it. Yeah, this gun shreds. Yeah, this is not a joke gun. Chip chip. You want to go back to the chip? I Not wonder yet. what secrets these ruins contain. Don't bother knocking on any doors. If anyone's inside, they're liable to respond. Look, look at this chip. Hey man, you ready for the Mandalorian next week? Is that next week? Yeah, bitch, the twelfth. You can't watch it all at once though, right? It's like we I think it's once a week, yeah. Okay. That's how no, they that's get easy you. to keep up with. <clears throat> Jesus. Wow, this gun does shred, dude. Oh, there's another one. You can stream old episodes there? Yeah, of course. That'd be weird if you couldn't. You what? can only watch once a week, and then when it's gone, it's gone forever. You never get to see it again. That'd be really weird. That'd be a terrible service. ARMS building key. And some leaded armor. What does that do? I bet it's it's trash. Like All these guys have trash armor. Probably look cooler, though. I hate the way heavy armor looks. Who cares? We don't have to look at our guy. But it's, it's what I feel inside, okay? It's what I feel inside. Do we have a thousand bullets for this shotgun? Jesus. Yeah, so that's why I was like, let's use this for a little bit. This sucks. I feel like it does kind of suck. This doesn't seem to do much damage. It's weird because it says like DPS is high, but I don't know. 
What happened? Let's see how, let's see how good this is. This is a decent amount of damage. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad, especially considering that we're like really bad in melee. Yeah. yeah. You doing okay over there? Oh wow, you guys are all the way over here? And he died. Are you done now? I think so. I love all of you. If you don't know yourself. Oh, are these? Oh, look, there's some Vanoys. There's May Vanoy and August Vanoy. And then you got some. I guess I'm just gonna be like, hey. Nioka, you're a sight right now, I'll tell you what. We are up a creek. I bet. You really come this far north for a printing press? Yeah, I know, I know, but that's the mission. Don't suppose y'all are busy right now. Graham actually sent me to secure the press. If you guys are going after the printing press, then yeah, I'm here to help. Zora sent me to look for you guys once I get you at safe. I'll see about that press. I'm here to secure a printing press, but that can wait. Let's get out of here. Three, I guess. Thank the Eternal. We could use a hand. But we can't leave without patching these guys up. Acker here is bleeding out and Jensen can't see straight. Our medic has got our trauma kit, but we got separated. We ain't seen him in a couple of hours. Pay for the printer. I guess that's the name of this quest. Any idea where he went? Yeah, on account of giving him the order. He's searching the old settlement to the north of the press. Got it. I'll see if I can find him. Should we also talk to August Van Nuys? Talk to me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's the press. So we want to go to the other place. Hey yeah, man, this will do. This will do plenty of damage from that distance. I don't think you're being. I think you're being sarcastic. Yes. I don't think I like this gun anymore. It does nothing. It's just shit damage. I'd like a nice shotgun. Shotguns are garbage. How much? What? What does this use? Energy? I think so. Yeah. Survival. No, don't go there. Don't go in there? No. You gotta do the optional thing first. Why? I mean, you don't have to, but you get more experience if you do the other thing first. How do you know? Because that's the. Oh, that's a big one. Because that's a. Oh! Use your flamethrower. You mean this flamethrower? Yes. No, the other one you have. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, flamethrower seems to do damage, but it's like really slow. Fuck off. All right, now we're running out of ammo because this thing does eat ammo like crazy. 
I think the reason the DPS is so high on this is because it shoots a lot of more bullets at a, at a second during in a second. You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. What? Yeah. Shotguns did a terrible design. Did get a terrible design in this. Only thing I could figure to make one decent is to mod it with fire and ray and use it as if you were playing melee. I found shotguns are okay once you had long guns up real high and some crit. Okay, all that makes sense. Oh, is that the medic? Yeah. Oh, dang it. No, this is an optional quest. God dang it. You didn't know that? No. No, we're almost done with it anyway. Yeah, I'm not gonna like... I didn't want to do anything optional! They're evicted, Frank. You can't go in there. Any luck out there? Well, I found your trauma kit. Your medic is dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, that's better than nothing. Thanks. We'll head out as soon as we're patched up. Thanks for the assist. All right. Printing press it is. She's all right. She's all right. Snipers are guaranteed crit after every kill. Interesting. Hundred long guns and you ignore all armor all the time can stay in TDT forever in long range. Whoa. I guess long guns are the way to go then. I like a girl with a short skirt and a long gun. A draft of different safety announcements from when the press was operational. Most of them across that. Safety guards are there to guard your safety. Replacement limbs are no replacements at all. Let's convey safety standards around our conveyor. Don't be a fool around the spool. Wow. How are we not going to be able to lock, hack that, man? I, I didn't. What, do you, what? It's like a little box. We should be able to open that, man. How are we not going to have the skill? It was 24 out of 40. Yeah, I'm saying it's just, it's BS. Oh, you're not saying that I did something wrong. You're no, saying no, like, no, no. Why, why can't we open that? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got you, fam. You should use explodey things to your advantage. I really don't enough. Can they get me over here? I believe there's a ramp come. next to you. Oh shit. Right hit.
just gonna die and all your enemies are gonna reheal. Come on! Shoot him in the brain! Ah! Actually, I think we're doing okay. All right, get me out of this stupid corner. Everyone else is dead though, right? Yeah. Oh, well, this is bumping. Oh my God, dude. It's just damage. You're good. The juice damage. What? The juice damage. That's what I thought you said. Now we can go unlock that thing if we want. I can unlock your face. It's probably not worth it though. It's a small little thing. Yeah, let's do long guns. Put all ten in long guns. Don't even no, no, care. No, no, wait. Um. Do nine in long guns. And we should increase that other skill he was talking about. We should put one more in stealth for lock picking. Sure. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The uh, leadership. Oh, those are good. Jeez. All right. What do we got here? Plus 10 to dialogue. Bonus dialogue skills when you have no companion. It's only when you have no companion. Don't like it. Okay. Minus 50%. Minus 50% consumable weight. I don't care about that. I, could, I carry, like, no consumables. Hmm. Reset a companion ability. I don't even know what those are, so. I don't even, I never use companion abilities. I don't even know if I'm supposed to or if I should or if they're easy. The 60 inspiration perk? What's that? What's the 60 inspiration perk? I don't know. Is it in tier one? No, we don't have that. It must be in tier three. It's not a perk, it's a skill unlock. Oh, the 60 inspiration skill is what you're saying then. Just press C or V in combat to use companion abilities. They're very good. Hmm. Hmm. I don't remember ever being told that. I found Pervetti's companion ability to be really good, just hard CC for a few seconds. That does seem good. 20% bonus to extra headshot weak spot damage. That seems good. You do go for the head a lot. I do go for the head a lot. It's probably worth it. 50% science weapon damage is a lot. Well, what does that mean? What this does sound better, actually, now that I've been using it more. What is it? 24% TTD restored per kill. Oh yeah, if you're using that more, that's good then, yeah. So you're talking about 60 on one of these. Companion skill bonus to player skill plus 100%. Oh, that makes all your... Does that bonus all your skills to 100%? That seems insane. Start putting some of that, I guess. What is this? Can I take their, can I use their guns? I think so, yeah. How? Oh no, you can't, I think you just equip them for them. 
Companion plus thirty percent companion ability damage. Hmm. I think both of these are good. The thirty percent companion ability damage. You don't damage. have a perk though right now, right? Oh you're right. Why am I looking? Can we give her better armor? We should do that. Oh wait, this is just our stuff, right? Is this isn't her stuff? stuff. This is our stuff that we're looking at. Oh, oh, wow. Well, we might as well give him better armor if we can. This is called... This gun's called the Euthanasia Kit. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. Yeah, you might as well give him some better armor. 24, 36, 24, 14. Oh, 29. Oh, we just bought one, though. Ours is 26. Better armor than that piece of junk? Yeah. Oh, it actually changes their actual armor. That's cool. We could probably give them a better shotgun, right? Mm hmm. And, well, maybe. I mean, like, 202 versus... Oh, never mind, yeah. That's, well, I guess that's better, right? What does that other one do? It's got a unique, though, right? Oh, look at this plasma cutter. You give that better wheelie, yeah. Get better wheelie, yeah. Is that what you just said? Yeah, better wheelies. I mean, come on, we all know you didn't say it. You said a bunch of nonsense. Come on. What does that gun do, also? What gun? The 202 one. The shotgun that he was using. Just a bigger magazine. Oh, okay. Alright. F5, save that biatch. Who cares? Oh man, look at them. Now they look much tougher. All right, where are we going? Where's the... Over here. Hmm. Bard, you say? God damn it. Let's try our new toy. Is this it? Yes. The euthanasia kit. He's already dead after one hit. This dude's having a bad time. He's having a little jiggle. Oh, they were just eating some snacks, man. I feel bad about killing these guys. Well, if you didn't kill them, they were just gonna kill you, so. Maybe not. Maybe they would have been friends. No, they don't make friends. Maybe you don't. Ooh, elite troop armor. What's that? Never mind. Junk. Somebody dropped their bits all over the floor. I still think it's better than one of your companion's armor, though. You're probably correct. I think the one we gave Vicar was only 14. Yeah, it was pretty bad. God, I can't tell which is which anymore. As always, I am at your disposal. No, when you talk to him, the helmet's off. That's Anything nice. Anything you would like to discuss? Fourteen. Let's install the rollers.
It didn't even start spinning, man. Where do I go now? Outside. Nope. I guess I do go outside. It is Mike B, my dudes. Normal? Yeah, man. I'm just playing to have fun. I'm not playing to, to test myself. Babby How mode. long do you want the series to be? It's either going to be like 80 episodes or like 300 episodes because we get di keep dying. It's true. I mean, I'm not playing, so, you know. If you'll just listen... No. No more listening. No more preaching. We are losing people left and right. We need to act. Enough, Zora. I'm not putting the torch to innocent people. Do you want to bring the board's cruisers and gunships down on us? Captain, apologies, but our situation grows dire. Our people talk of foolish endeavors. What news do you bring? If there are gunships, they sure didn't stop me from landing here. The printing press is all yours. What are you arguing about? Just complete the quest, dude. Excellent. Did you find the Van Oys? Yeah, they're lucky I got there in time. Lucky indeed. Thank you. We're one step closer to bringing the truth to every man, woman, and child in Halcyon. For now, you can tell Hiram that I'll stop using Devil's Peak. From the pits of our eternal souls. Thank you, Captain. I have much to do. Articles to write, sermons to ponder. We live in such an exciting time. Let's talk later. Sermons? For the love of... I'm going to see to the wounded. For the love of... All right. Now we can go back to the main quest. Michael's like, finally. Well, we had to do that anyway. That was like part of the main quest, technically. Hmm. We gotta go to the right quest, dog. But I think we gotta go back and talk to the broker guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we do this one too? No, we're just doing Radio Free Monarch. You don't want to get this dude his poster? What? You don't want to get that dude's no, poster? I don't give a shit about that guy's poster. It's fucked up, man. Now, why isn't telling us to go there? Why isn't it? Why is it? Why wouldn't it? Because we're supposed to talk to the broker, right? Why? Help the broker. I can't deliver the location and the chemicals until you stop the lighting thing inside train and then I have to Oh, we have to do the MSI thing too, I guess. Whew. Sweaty ears, it'll burn your throat. You got sweaty ears? Yeah, man. These these earmuffs, they get sweaty. Well, new business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? Wow. <laughs> You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. No, you have a meeting with me. Oh, yeah, I like that. Did you hear that power play, Celia? They don't make them like this anymore in Halcyon. I only hope you don't judge me by my handshake. Now, what business brings you here? I'm charting my own path, going where the wind takes me. Oh, that's the only option, I guess. What a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Halcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. 
If I have to eat one more weird science project passed off as food in this sprat fucking fucked colony, I'm gonna stab someone. <laughs> yes, that's it. Channel your anger. I only wish I could do the same. <laughs> I had hoped that livening up our advertisements with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Uh, if you're free of other sounds like a personal problem, I've got other concerns. If you're free of other corporations, why would you want to bring them back? What exactly are you hoping to accomplish? I like one or two. Well, those are the only ones that really give us anything. How about you then? Okay. Surviving alone isn't as easy as it looks. Thanks to the so-called hazard clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for 10 years now. So-called is right. We've got our hazards, but we're still here, damn it. The board took off without so much as a thought for the folks left behind. Something to be said for perseverance. I endeavor to persevere myself. Well, we've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. And you're, tired of, you're tired of scrounging and scraping by, is that it? Sounds like you're freer than anyone else in Halcyon. Why not embrace it? Hmm. I can tell your iconoclast friends have left their <laughs> mark on you. Freedom always sounds nice, doesn't it? It makes a... Uh rather pretty slogan but if you sit down and tally up the costs how you provide for yourself in the absence of aid how you protect yourself from a same hostile beard galaxy, shape also wow starts to lose its shine exactly intellectualism fuels the train to mankind's future but the tracks the train runs on are forged from practicality i don't know what intellectualism means but if someone's willing to build us a few practical things around here I ain't gonna judge them on account of their beliefs. Yes, it's as though the good vicar has plucked the very words from my brain. That's a coward's answer. You make a good point, so what do you mean to do about it? You choose this one. I chose the last one. Wow! Did you? Yeah. I have people to look after. I need to be practical. That's why Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. A lot of good that'll do. They'll just find another reason to turn tail and abandon you. Not if we secure the proper safeguards first. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. This lady knows what's going on. Enough preamble, what's the plan? It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. You do seem to have a bit of a Raptalon problem, fine, but how do you mean to do that? How long did it take you to figure that you need to defend your city? <laughs> wow. I like one. And a Mantisaur problem. And a Marauder problem. Many, many problems. But they can all be solved with a Bolt 52 cartridge. If you can get us what we Good need board. to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. The Bolt 52 sounds useful. What Quite is it? one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful... Gaze, what's going on, my dude? <laughs> ordinance or ordinance? An ordinance, of course. We do things in a civilized fashion here. Not like Graham's iconoclasts. Of course he oh wants to fight God. bureaucracy with paperwork. I should have known. Hmm. <sighs> Can a legal document really be that important? So where do I find this ordinance once you have the bolt? What's the other part of your plan? I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. Because everything in this game is... It definitely feels like that, yeah. Then I guess I'll get your Bolt 52. Do be careful. 
I've lost more than a few people to marauders and raptodons out there. Oh, and while you're at it, yeah, there should be a terminal shit. in the arms building with some dangerous uh, case is really committing to this elk sound Perhaps bit. <laughs> you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Before I go, I need to ask you about something. What can I do for you? Let's see if we got any extra. I need to decide to stop broadcasting or jamming Devil's Peak Station. Hmm. I have questions about MSI on the good old days. I met Grim, the landing pad guard. I guess one. Get to the point. You're just as rigid as the old executive committee. Why, we've hardly been able to get a clear message out until recently. When Grim finally shut up. Praise the architect for that. It isn't easy keeping a town like Stellar Bay afloat, especially without the board's backing. We need that frequency to reach our oh, trading partners. 37 loyalty, Oko. <laughs> there must be another way for you to do business. Indeed. That's why it's imperative that MSI be reinstated onto the board. And the first step is getting the Bolt 52. Elk sound. <laughs> uh, I met Grim, the landing pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang up job. That guy's a world. Which one's Grim? I don't remember. He's not the brightest of minds, but <laughs> so I must insult him. Enthusiasm. <laughs> That's not what I would call it. Still, I had him posted on the landing pad in hopes that he'd stay out of everyone's way. I'll see about additional training. Then it's good that I keep such meticulous notes. Oh God! <laughs> so you used to work with Graham. Why not mention that earlier? Ah, so you've heard about our prior acquaintance? No sense being coy about it. We're partners now, aren't we? I suppose you're right. Graham's always had a way with words. Strange as it may seem, I suspect he'd have quite the corporate career if he weren't so radical. Or radical. Graham seemed like a reasonable man years ago. We both agreed that MSI's treatment of its workers was untenable. I thought reforms would be enough. I didn't realize you wanted to abolish the corporate system entirely. Chat <laughs> notes on only mode. Oh dear God. Uh, why exactly? Why exactly? One. What one? One or three? I've asked myself the same thing many times. Especially seeing as the legal mechanisms we employed were part of the board's own bylaws. Rocket 69, Rocket 69. Do you mean that you initiated your removal from the board? You're getting ahead of yourself again. This is why you can't trust corporations with so called laws. It's true. The board has treated us unfairly, but I'd always envisioned. Moose noise. Wow, switching it up. For many years, this planet was home to as many corporations as Terra 2. Back then, it was known as Terra 1. Terra 1 and Terra 2, I see the board put their best people on that one. <laughs> really? I always thought they were refreshingly straightforward names. After all, the whole point of terraforming was to make them Earth-like. Here, though, the results were mixed. That ain't fair. They didn't leave on account of the hazards. They left on account of their cowardice. The hazards just gave them a reason to put to paper. Sharp as ever, Nyoka. And as the other corporations began to tally their losses, they decided to pull out. But not MSI, right? Our leadership at the time certainly wanted to. And how did that work out? Most regard Monarch as a lost cause. But there were others of us who saw an opportunity. The chance to improve working hours and conditions, to reform MSI from the ground up. Meaning you and Graham, right? Indeed. Anyway, we learned of a loophole in the corporate bylaws that would allow MSI to claim ownership of the entire planet once the other corporations pulled out, creating the perfect environment for us to enact these new reforms. I think your leadership didn't embrace your ideas. Using the board's own tools against them, clever. Except Hiram found that loophole, didn't he? Technically, that may be true, but he couldn't be bothered to do the necessary paperwork to exploit it, now could he? Anyway, it didn't matter at the time. MSI's then leadership insisted we'd be relocating to Terra 2 along with everyone else. 
Yet here you are. I hope you gave him the finger. Guess he missed the transport. Yes. Some of us stayed behind, and as the most senior executive remaining, I ended up in charge of what was left of MSI. I moved forward with our planned reforms, as well as our strategy to assume ownership of the planet. Yet not long after I renamed it Monarch, the other corporations dislodged us from the board and began an official campaign to paint us as lawless savages. <laughs> hey Mike, what's a mic sound? You should have known you couldn't oppose them. But we weren't trying to. Everything we did was legal and above board. We followed their rules, and yet they still found reasons to declare us outlaws. I do think there's something useful in a governing body like the board. Something that keeps us from anarchy, but I dearly wish it functioned differently. Why exactly do you want you back on the board? What's your hazard clause? The hazard clause. It's straight bullshit is what it is. A fabrication rich folks use to preserve their investments by leaving a lot of people here to die slow. Nyoka has the right of it. It's a legal provision that gives the board the authority to cordon off any planet or location that it deems dangerous. A necessary evil for the greater good of society. That's yeah, exactly Vicar. how the board <laughs> describes it. Yeah, he's kind of a shitbag. And they invoked it on Modern? Yes, Monarch? Modern? Making all of MSI criminals in the board's eyes. Rather hard to run a business that way. Why exactly do you want to go back on the board? You're supposed to let Hiram control the that was the deal. Technically Vic, he does. If Vicar Max was exactly in the real world, he'd wear a MAGA me? hat. <laughs> oh, what exactly? Uh, you're not upholding your end of the bargain. Cross me like that and things will get bad for you. Might as well do it. Now, now. There's no need to use that sultry tone with me. Hiram understands the way things are. After all, he has his own contacts on the board. Until we're back on the board, I need to run those advertisements. If there's no business on Monarch, then we all starve. Hiram included. Why exactly do you want back? Why wouldn't board? anyone? They own nearly all the resources and infrastructure in Halcyon. Without the board, chaos would overtake the system. Working within the established order isn't a principle to snub one's nose at, Captain. Yeah, that'd go a long way toward rebuilding our homes. To be on the board is to be part of the colonial community. Being cut off means slow strangulation. They've treated you pretty roughly. Is it worth going back to that? I can't fault you for your practicality. Seems to me anything's better than the corporate yoke. I'm not a man to put pride before progress. If membership on the board can ease our hardships and provide us with opportunities, then that's the path I mean to pursue. Besides, I'm hopeful that additional leverage on our part will allow us a more equitable relationship. Leverage. Don't get ahead of yourself, sir. Yes, yes. It'll be easier to explain once we have the Bolt 52. My hope is to maintain the reforms we've managed here, and who knows? Perhaps once we're restored, we could spread them to other corporations. What okay. can I do for you? That was a lot of chatting, my dudes. Ooh. And on that note, Ooh. we're going to call it for now. Can I get sure out of here? Save it. Okay. Going to save it here for part five. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. We will continue with this probably tomorrow night if Mike's up for it. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching tonight. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Hope you're enjoying this. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. And I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching.